An encoder is a type of transducer that provides feedback of a physical state change. In the case of an encoder, that state change is a change in position. The feedback can be used to measure position information, providing a point of orientation for controlling the position of a motion system. There are several common ways to classify encoders. One is the method of sensing such as capacitive, optical, or magnetic. And another is whether the position output from the encoder is absolute or incremental. Another parameter is how much force the encoder can handle on the shaft. So there are light duty, medium duty, and heavy duty encoders. Another quite common way encoders are classified is whether they are rotary or linear in nature. Linear encoders typically are made up of a scale, such as a coated strip and a sensing head. Reading the space between the scale coating determines position. The resolution of linear encoders is measured in pulses per inch or millimeter. The scale typically has a fixed resolution with embedded markings, which is read by the sensing head. In contrast, a rotary encoder measures resolution in pulses per revolution. Similar to linear encoders, a typical rotary encoder contains an internal coated disk and a sensing head. Think of a linear encoder as a type of tape measure, while a rotary encoder is more like a measuring wheel. Encoders can also be either absolute or incremental. Absolute encoders have a unique code for each shaft position, so every position of an absolute encoder is distinctive. The absolute encoder interprets a system of coded tracks to create position information where no two positions are identical. Absolute encoders can be single turn or multi turn. Single turn encoders are well suited to short travel motion control applications where position verification is needed within a single turn of the encoder shaft. Multi turn encoders, on the other hand, are better for applications that involve complex or lengthy positioning requirements. Absolute encoders have a number of advantages. Some absolute encoders use a non volatile memory to store position information, although most single turn encoders do not. True position is not lost if power is lost or the system moves while power is switched off. A continuous reading of position is not needed. This is specifically useful in those applications, such as satellite tracking antenna, where position verification is key. Safety is another benefit. In some applications, where a loss of position could lead to operator injury or machine damage, an absolute encoder automatically provides position verification when the power is switched on. Incremental encoders generally supply square wave signals in two channels, A and B, which are offset, or out of phase, by 90 degrees. This helps in determining the direction of rotation. The output signals of an incremental encoder only have information on relative position, not absolute position. In order for the encoder to provide any useful position information, the position of the encoder has to be referenced in some way, traditionally using an index pulse. Thus, the incremental encoder sends incremental position changes to electronic circuits that perform the counting function. For more videos like these, please visit designedworldonline.com.